What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Stocks to Watch. And as expected, bulls are back and uh, Bank Nifty was the reason for all the bulls to kind of cheer and uh, Today, Bank Nifty was up about 650 points and I think Nifty was up again 200 points. Uh, so overall, the market's doing really well. Today, the much-awaited earnings season starts. So in the last episode, I gave you an idea that Reliance is reporting earnings today. And by the way, Reliance reported steady set of numbers with very, very bullish indication for its telecom business, which is Geo, expecting their ARPU to increase by about 15%, which is something that I think the street will like. Apart from that, we also had earnings from HCL Tech, which was great. We had earnings from Angel One. We discussed that particular stock. So all in all, I think it was a great day. So Angel One also reported really, really good numbers. Uh, I think... Uh, a 30 or 40 percent increase in revenue 25 percent increase in pat uh active users increased so all the drama with the brokerage and the fno trading rules um i, I think uh tomorrow the stock's going to react really well so um before starting the episode i'll just give you a quick brief uh in the next coming four days we will still have a lot of earnings but today i've got a lot of stocks I have got super A plus setups, meaning that I, I expect these stocks to kind of just explode. Uh, something very similar to what I gave you yesterday, which was first cry. So if you are a regular subscriber and a viewer, you know, we spoke about uh, Brain Beast Solutions or first cry was up 5%. Orient Limited gapping up by about 10, 12%. So I think from the previous day's closing, I think this stock was up 13% at one point of time. Affordable, uh, another stock uh, that we had discussed yesterday, we were speaking about this pocket pivot. I think this one also was up 18%, 16.5% at one point of time. So there was action all around. And today I have got a bunch of other names which I feel are going to do really, uh, really well. Before I start, I would request you to hit the like button. Uh, do subscribe to the channel if you want these videos to come more often to your feed. And do drop in your comments on what you feel about the research. Thank you so much. Now, the first talk on the radar is definitely going to be Angel 1. We have a positive catalyst. We have earnings. Now, we exited the trade today. That's a disclaimer. We exited it because we never play earnings in that sense because we didn't really want to take risk. We exited almost near the high of the day. So Angel 1 is definitely going to be the one on radar. HCL Tech, Infosys, Emphasis. I mean, I can just keep taking IT names and I think all of them will be on radar. HCL Tech reporting stellar set of numbers, uh, good margins, good guidance. So I think Infi, uh, which is also on my radar, um, this is setting up really nicely. I think uh, all of these names will have a lot of action. So I think I'm, I'm really, really excited about these ones. So HCL Tech was the second one. And third one is Mother Sunsumi. And uh, this is, I'm still uh, waiting for this one to start moving higher. Uh, affordable is now out of the range. So uh, we can ignore that. Orient Limited, I'm still bullish on this one. It's it's a big base breakout. So keep uh, this one on your radar. Uh, then Manak Aluminium Company. Now, aluminium prices have been on a rise. And aluminium companies, I think, are going to do really well. And Manak Aluminium is a very, very small company. So please do your own due diligence. But I think the setup is really, really nice. First cry, I think the continuation would happen tomorrow as well. So uh, do keep this on your watch list. Now, just a disclaimer. Uh, we, along with our members, took a position in first cry today. So please do your own due diligence. And this is not a financial recommendation or an advice. Next up, we've got Ashoka, Buildcon. I think we spoke about this one as well. Now, let's start with stocks that are uh, setting up really nicely. So first one is JK cement so i'll just try to show you what jk cement is doing so it's basically reacting from this order block and today is the first reaction candle that means uh, i think there should be some rebound in jk cement so it's it's at a really nice place in fee we already discussed about in fee really nice pivot uh, a very very nice base along with moving average uh, contraction and hcl tech's numbers uh, have boosted things uh, completely Next up, we've also got ICICI Bank. Now, this one also is trading literally at an area of demand. And uh, this one is also a very, very interesting name. So do keep this one on your radar as well because banks have bounced back. This is a leader. If Nifty is going to go higher, ICICI Bank also has, I think, the top four weightage uh, in the Nifty index. So I think ICICI Bank is also going to do really well. State Bank of India is also contracting near these highs. So this is also kind of uh, moving out of this range. And then there is this gap, uh, which definitely can be filled and if state bank of india starts moving higher then it's a heavy weight it's an elephant so i think it's going to take bank nifty it's going to take nifty along with that next up we've got sbi cards which is again an order block so nice placement nice location for sbi cards i'm going to be watching this one banaras beads is another name which i'm going to be closely tracking so i'm just gonna 
get everything back. Yep. So Banaras Beats is another stock. Now, why do I really like this? Because if I go to the weekly chart of Banaras Beats, I'm just going to uh, try to showcase what exactly is the stock trying to do. So this is a really, really nice base. Now, mind you, Banaras Beats is a micro... I think nano cap company, maybe 60, 70 crores of market capitalization, not the best companies fundamentally, but technically it's looking really, really nice. And I think there is a big setup in over here. Uh, it's into the consumer durables business and uh, they're mostly into glass and, you know, I think artificial jewelry. So very, very, you know, fundamentally not strong at all. But I think from a technical standpoint, the setup is really nice. Next up, we've got Butterfly, uh, Butterfly Gandhi Mati. And this one also is trading at a really, really nice location. I think I mentioned mentioned this previously as well this is the area where uh, i think all the positioning for institutions have been done so i think i'm expecting this to bounce back from here next up we've got venkis and uh, i did tell you that i'm expecting this kind of a candle in venkis and today it was up two and a half percent now another disclaimer we are already long on venkis uh, I can't, uh, you know, uh, comment on, you know, the stock. But what I would just say is that do your own due diligence. The location is really nice. And uh, we are already positioned in Venkis, right? So the risk reward is favorable. That's the reason. Shankara Bilkon is another name which I think uh, is going to be an interesting one to watch out for. Reason is very simple. It's again trading at a very, very important area of demand. So I think uh, there is no reason for you to not play this. The risk reward is extremely favorable. So I think everything else is setting up really, really nicely. So so I, I think that's that's with Shankara uh, over here, right? Next up, we've got Hariom Pipes. Now, Hariom Pipes is another very fundamentally very strong name, uh, which is just broken, um, uh, you know, came out of a displacement, came back down with the volume dry up, something that I really, really like. The stock is very nice fundamentally. So I think uh, this is a position that I would really want to take in Hariom Pipes and I would want to target this uh, from a positional standpoint, if at all you want to play that. So that's another name. Aeroflex, I think one of the favorite names that I have in the list today, one of the favorites because I have a lot of favorites today. Very, very nice basis. Look at the weekly chart. I mean, it's a no brainer. Stock is doing really nice today. It was up seven and a half or maybe 8%. Very, very nice base. Uh, and this is a recently listed IPO, I think, one year. Uh, so I think this is really, really nice. So I would definitely be interested in this one. Next up, we've got Univats, Univats to India. And this is also setting up really nice. Trying, trying to form a VCP with the volume dry up. So I'm going to be watching this one. Now is my favorite name. This is... Uh, Imami Realty. And then just look at the play right now. So it is just constantly contracting around these highs, volume drying up. This is a clear indication of, uh, you know, institutional activity here. This is just a consolidation. Everything is just setting up like magic. So I think this is definitely going to be one of the names that I'm going to be uh, trading tomorrow. Next up, we've got Nurek. And this is not the greatest stock fundamentally, but again, uh, at trading at an order block. CL Educate, another one of my favorites. Now, just look at what the stock is doing on the daily. Just look at the size of the base. Uh, this is trading for the first time uh, in about seven or eight years uh, from its IPO high. And this time, it's doing this with some style. And uh, uh, the volumes kind of showcase the story. So, CL Educate, another very, very interesting one. Another name, another favorite is Aptus Value Housing Finance. And just look at this base. I mean, this is a no-brainer. Very, very good stock. Uh, <clears throat> fundamentally very nice. And I think this is just setting up. This could well be the Diwali pick. Um, so really nice uh, stock over here. <coughs> Sorry. Now the next one is five star bus finance. Another disclaimer. We're already in. We're already positioned into this particular stock. We took a position today. Uh, I am again very, very bullish on this one. Uh, another finance uh, rental leasing uh, kind of a play. Next up, we've got R Systems International, uh, which is also looking really nice. I think I gave you an idea about this stock uh, previously as well. And last but not the least, we've got Bombay Dying, uh, which is, uh, you know, uh, again, a very, very nice setup. Yes, the stock was up 7.5%, 8% up today. But I think uh, all is well with this stock fundamentally technically i think everything's really really nice so all in all everything is setting up really really nicely and we've got like a lot of these names which are uh, setting up perfectly from a technical standpoint so uh that's there now finally i'll just tell you what snp 500 is doing which is the american index and we are, we are seeing a fresh all-time high so dow nasdaq so this is spx i'll just open nasdaq and um, you will be able to see that it's almost trading near its high is up one percent and if i open dow jones uh this is also doing really really nice so um 
overall, I think everything is setting up really nicely for Bulls to kind of uh, um, roar back tomorrow. And I think, um, uh, as I mentioned earlier with Nifty and with Bank Nifty in my earlier episodes, that I'm, I'm this is definitely not an area where I'm going to look to be, you know, selling. I'm going to be a buyer. And from this day, I've been telling you that, you know, I feel that there's going to be a pullback uh, on the upside. And I think that's uh, what the market is setting up for. So that's it for today's episode. If you liked it, do make sure to like the button, uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, also drop in a comment on what's your feedback about today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. I wish you all the best for your trading day tomorrow and I will see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye and take care.